Coach Mark with Journeyman Fitness, back for day two of this Getting Fitter series, and today I'm going to go over some big concepts and things that I like to think about when we talk about getting fitter. So it's not just about physical fitness, but I, I've split it up into six big, big topics on two sides of this line here, essentially the activity and then how do we recover. So on the activity side, this is activity that we've got throughout the day. What does our physical fitness look like? So are we sitting down all day at a desk? Are we super active? Are we an operator? Are we you know, at school and walking everywhere? And uh, how are we feeding ourselves? What's our nutrition look like? Are we getting the right nutrients into our body? Are we fueling ourselves properly? And finally, what does our supplementation look like? How are we optimizing our lifestyle? Are we making sure we're getting in the right nutrients and enough of them? and making sure that uh, we can go throughout the day the best that we can. On the other side of this coin here is the down regulation, right? The essentially uh, unactivity. How are we recovering from all of this activity, all this physical stuff? This is a lot of uh, things that I think are missing in people's lives and, and in, their, in their big plan. One is, how are you sleeping? How long are you sleeping? How much are you sleeping? Um, the quality of it. I know I just said much and how long, but how much are you sleeping and the quality of it? And uh, how are you improving it? If you're only sleeping four to six hours a night, that is not enough. Uh, I don't care if you wake up and think that you feel great on four hours of sleep. It's just simply not enough. How are you managing stress throughout the day? Right? Your, as an aside, your body interprets stress, whether you're getting chased by bear or answering emails the same. So, how are you managing that? Obviously, you know, there's not too many people who get chased by bears throughout the day, but there's a lot of people who sit and answer emails and go to contentious uh, meetings and basically have a stressful day, day after day, week after week, and it affects their uh, health. It affects their recovery. It affects their weight. It affects their mood. How are you managing that? Are you, is there a practice in there uh, to kind of downregulate yourself throughout the day? And then finally, what's your recovery look like? So if you're doing a lot of physical activity, if you're going for jogs, if you're lifting in the gym, that doesn't get you stronger. That simply breaks you down. The magic is when you build yourself back up. And so the magic is right here in the recovery. So are you managing inflammation? Are you managing stress on the bones, stress on the muscles, stress on the tissues? Are you seeing a specialist if you need to? How are you managing this recovery? And generally what I found is if you uh, get, as you get older, your recovery needs to be literally as, um, as good as, if not better than the actual physical activity that you do. So this goes into sleep, this goes into stress. Are you taking care of the tissues, et cetera, et cetera. So when you think of your fitness, think of your health, think of your, the aspects of your life, I like to break it into these topics here. So these are the big ones that generally people kind of have an idea of we need to fix this, but also these are some down regulation factors that are going to really affect uh, the quality of your day and, and, and the ability to make sure that uh, your physical activity and your health is, is thinking long term. Hopefully this was helpful. Get ready for day three. I'm coming at you with some great uh, tips tomorrow.